YouTube, it's your boy Trent with Pastry Playhouse, and this week we caked up a face mask. First off, I want to say thank you to all my uh, essential workers out there, all my nurses, all my doctors, all my people in the medical field, and everybody, stay safe, always wear a face mask, no matter if your area is clear or not, still safety first. So let me show you how I made this mask. Before we get started into this cake, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with all your friends. Show them, you know, this cool little cake, something that doesn't really look like a cake. That's really a cake, you know? Show the love. Okay guys, how I started this cake off is actually cutting the top of the cake off, leaving the cake itself inside the cake pan. I'll say that for a later project. But with the top of the cake that we have right here, what we're gonna do is actually add our buttercream and just give it a nice crumb coat. And then we're gonna go back a second time and add some more buttercream to it to give it a nice buttercream flavor. and just cut off two sides of the cake. Now we're gonna add the lines that go underneath the mask. You could just grab any three thin pieces of fondant like I did right here and just go ahead and stretch them out. You're gonna wanna get the tips of them pretty thin to give it more of a realistic look to it. Now we're gonna make our fondant which is going to be the actual mask itself. Right here, as you can see, I only use two little lines of the blue. You want to create a baby blue color, which is very a small amount of blue and majority of white fondant. And just keep kneading it until it gets to the perfect shade of blue. As you can see right here, I actually need a little bit more blue and I just continue to knead it until it got to the perfect shade of blue. And then once it gets to the perfect shade of blue, now we're going to begin to roll it out. Just use your actual cake as a measurement. If you need to, just pull it out and just make sure that it is wide enough to cover the entirety of the cake. So now that you've covered the cake, now you're just gonna use your fingertips to go ahead and add detail to the lines that you already made previously. Use your fingertips to pinch it to give it those nice, sharp, thin lines that the real mask have. modeling tool just to give it more of a realistic look adding those nice curved lines and use my fingertips to give a sharper edge to it so now you're just going to want to use a knife to go ahead and cut any excess fondant off the sides to give it a realistic stitched effect. On a real mask, uh, there's about three lines, so we're just gonna keep doing this about three times. So once you added all your stitch lines to it, now we're gonna roll out some white fondant because on the real mask, they actually have a white outline on the top and the bottom. So I just rolled out some thin fondant and just began to cut. Make sure that on the sides, they're very thin and then on the top and the bottom, there's white showing. At this point, I actually use a toothpick uh, to recreate that metal bar that they have in the mask to tighten around your nose. So I just stuck it underneath it and just use my modeling tool to push down a little bit more just to give it more of a realistic effect and you can see the actual toothpick in it. And 
and now we're going to go ahead and add some more stitched lines to it the best thing i can say is have the actual item that you're recreating right there next to you so you can actually see it and follow along to what it has so now time to add the string this is what actually gives it the more of a realistic look this is what makes it feel like an actual mask instead of just a blue blob mask the strings are actually pushed in they're sewn in so just use your uh, tool to give it the same effect and there you go you just recreated a cake version of a surgical mask please make sure to like comment and share this video with all your friends Stay safe out there, guys, and stay covered up.